So how do I know that there is a need for a prophecy to be given? You know, when you are pressed and you need to go to the toilet, you cannot release what your body has until you reach the toilet. Then you can release what you have. But if you're in the kitchen or if you're in the sitting room or you're in your own bedroom, you cannot release what you have. You have to go to the toilet, then you can release what you have. If I'm not at the right place, I will not get the word. If I'm in the right place, I will get the word of prophecy. So here comes the first prophecy. There's a sin that you need to confess, marital issues. Then I asked God any further words. These are the kind of questions that you always need to ask God because you don't want to shortchange what God wants to do through you. So I asked God, okay, is there a further word? And then the Holy Spirit asked me to ask God how many wives this uh, grandpa has. If it is me that asks the Holy Spirit, I will not get the prophecy. But if it, but if it is the Holy Spirit that asks me to ask the Holy Spirit how many wives this grandpa has, then I will get the prophecy. Because if God never asks us to ask him something and we ask, we will get imaginations. But if it is some things that God asks us to ask him, then we will get it right. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth woman. You have heard it? So take note of how I spoke this prophecy. Uh, it is true that sometimes you can just see out of thin air the number four, and then you just say it out. But this time, the Holy Spirit told me to count number one onwards. So I counted. One, two, three, four. When I said out the number four, the Holy Spirit fire was around me. Then I knew that this grandpa has four wives. I said, number one, there's no fire around me. Number two, there's no fire. Number three, I cannot feel any fire. When I say number four, the Holy Spirit fire surround me. Then I know that this man has four wives. So this is how you hear the voice of God. Some secrets that I'm sharing with you. When I say out of thin air, it's not something that no matter how big your eyes open, no, even you close your eyes, you still can see. Because God is not a man, God is spirit. And if God is a spirit, he did not need to use your eyes or ears to talk to you. He talked to your spirit. Spirit means your heart, not to your mind. Mind is where your imaginations are. Why am I sharing this sermon with my brothers and sisters, with my fathers and mothers? Okay, Because these are the secrets of the Holy Spirit that will spark a revival in your heart to make you want to go closer to God the more. To let you know that God is not dead, but God is alive. When you pray, when was the last time that you heard God talk back to you? But if I were to tell you each time I pray, God talks back to me. Why is it that each time I pray, God talks back to me? Because I know when to pray. I know when to read the Bible. Okay, I examine my heart. So now I'm going to play a video and I will pause at the moment that I'm to give the prophecy. And then I want you to prophesy. And if you get the same word as the video was to be played later, it means that you have heard the voice of God correctly. So now this is a situation that it is confirmed that the Holy Spirit wants to ask you to ask Him because uh, the prayer has already taken place uh, months before. So this is why uh, out of 10 prayers you pray, 9 prayers God never talked back to you. Because these are the prayer requests that God never asked you to pray to Him for. You need to know what are the things that God wants you to ask Him. Then you get it right. To pray during the meeting, you have to pray before the meeting. To pray after the meeting, you have to pray during the meeting. My goal is not to have 5,000 men. My goal is to have 12 apostles. I want to squeeze that out of you. I pray for my wife also. Because she has to be in the court. Okay, now, everybody has seen this. So this brother needs prayer for his wife because she has to be in the court. Ask the Holy Spirit which year this court document took place. And once you got the answer, I want you to type in the Zoom chat. Uh, to not hear from God is better than you claim to hear from God, but you got it wrong. Okay, uh, my name is Grace Katshave. 
I am from Uganda. I just asked the Holy Spirit uh-huh. and I received the year 2016 and I just typed without questioning. Okay, you hear the Holy Spirit telling you 2016. So when it comes to prophecy, it is not just you, you hear or see something, you just say it out. No. When you hear or see something, you have to confirm again because you are representing God. This is why most of the time you see people like me, okay, when they stand in front of a person, you know there's a message. This is why you stop. You see me just stop not saying some words because we are waiting. Okay? The fire is there. We know that we are at the right place. Now we are hearing and seeing some things, but we want double confirmation because we are representing God. When I'm seeing something or I hear something, but I did not manage to double confirm, I would rather not say it. It's either the person's situation is too complicated that God must say a parable. And if God must say a parable, this person's heart is not ready to take it. Might as well not say a parable. I'll pray for these court documents also. Okay, sir? So we leave it for God's hand. I see the year of 2017. 2016. 2016, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2016. That in turn will do the application, the appeal in the courts. That's so the the first sister, she got it right. Okay, it is twenty sixteen. So so we turn to the book of Second Kings, chapter thirteen, in verse nineteen. Now the man of God was angry with him and said, "You should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you would have completely defeated the Arameans and destroyed it." But now you only defeat it three times. Take note of what the word that the great prophet Elisha has spoken. Elisha said, hit the ground five or six times. So in the similar case, why you were wondering that the prophecy was 2017 or 2018 is because, okay, 2016, if you probe further, is the year that they had this court started. 2017 is, is where the court documents finalized. So this is how it works. So if you are seeing two years, don't be afraid, double confirm. It may be that 2016 is where they started this court document appeal. 2017, they finalized it. This is why you saw me saying two years. Strike the ground five or six times, meaning both years are correct. If you strike it five times, you still get it success. If you strike it six times, you still succeed. Because our problems is not because we need prayer. Our problems is because we cannot hear the voice of God. Our ancestors, the Israelites, received bread from heaven every day for 40 years. And yet, they still cannot enter heaven. We do not specialize in prayer. We specialize to know God's opinion by hearing the voice of God. So for those who got it wrong, I want to tell you, don't worry. Okay, everybody starts somewhere. Okay, when Jesus Christ started his ministry, he first go to the temple of the Lord to learn from the elders. When Jesus Christ was 12 years old, where did he go? He went away from his parents and go to the synagogue. But at the age of 30, he left the synagogue. Does that mean that he failed when he was 12 years old? No, it's a part of faith in this Christian's life. So when you got it wrong, ask God not to make the same mistake again. Okay, And when the voice of God comes to you, he will change your tongue to speak the correct words. Uh, you may want to say pastor, but God will change your tongue to say bishop because that is how the man wants to be addressed. 